As the number of syphilis cases continues to rise, the Virginia Department of Health is recommending health districts with higher rates offer testing to all sexually active people between the ages of 15 and 44. And this map shows here that all seven cities in Hampton Roads fall into this high category. I asked health officials today about the plan to test. Hampton Roads is a hotbed for syphilis. You know, syphilis can have severe consequences for anyone infected if left untreated. And VDH recently launched this data dashboard solely dedicated to information and education about the sexually transmitted infection as cases climbed 22 percent in Virginia last year. One of the things that I think we saw over the last several years somewhat related to the pandemic response was a decrease in the number of people who were going to their routine health maintenance visits. Dr. Caitlin Padotti says that could be one reason for the increase. STD prevention expert Brian Collins adds people meeting their sexual partners online and opioid use are also factors, but that for most people, the greatest risk factor for becoming infected with syphilis is just living in a community with a high background rate of syphilis because it increases the likelihood you might be exposed. Case in point, babies are being born with syphilis at an alarming rate in the U.S., more than 3,700 in 2022. That's over 10 times the number the decade before, and up to 40 percent are stillborn or die from the infection. So one of the things that we're trying to encourage is people getting back to those routine health visits. Doctors are encouraged to take thorough sexual health histories from all patients, and patients are encouraged to get tested, whether at their doctor's office or a local health department. Now, wavy.com, I've included links to the health department's syphilis dashboard and information on some local STI testing clinics. A newly formed state syphilis task force is also working on a public awareness campaign.